2013 was the breakout season in the career of Liberty running back Desmond Rice. He is in! Touchdown! His third of the day! As a junior, Rice produced 16 touchdowns and just shy of 1,000 yards rushing. So you can imagine the expectations going into his senior campaign. But then, during a spring practice leading up to the 2014 season, his career would come to a screeching halt. As you've run on this field, who knows how many hundreds or thousands of times in your career, normally without a problem. But that day back in spring ball, you went down, you didn't get right back up. Walk me through what happened that day. Yeah, I mean, it was just a routine play. You know, I came off, uh, off the block, there was a big hole. There's only one defender there, and you know, normally I try to make the first man miss, yeah. so I gave him a little wiggle. And uh, when I came out of my jump cut, I kind of felt like, uh, I guess like I had a flat tire is the best way to put it. I felt like my knee was, wasn't gonna hold up, so I finished the play, I made it to the end zone, and then I just kind of collapsed. His knee would require surgery, although the extent of the injury wasn't actually known until the doctors began operating. As it turned out, the diagnosis was exactly what Rice had feared. You know, I woke up on the table and, you know, I, the first thing I asked, you know, I was like, was it my ACL? I was kind of groggy. And they were like, yeah, we had to do ACL repair on you. And, you know, I got a little emotional at that point just because I knew I wasn't going to be a part of the 2014 season. His season may have been over, but the work was just beginning. Talk to me about the physical rehab side of it. Uh, what was that like? How difficult was that? And then also the mental side, because I'm sure that played a role as well. I think the mental part is more difficult than the physical part. I was probably on crutches for about three weeks, and that was, that was miserable, miserable three weeks. I didn't enjoy that at all. And then, you know, the rehab, the first, the first few weeks were pretty tough, just trying to, you know, just get that, build the strength back. But it really wasn't all that hard once I got going. It was just mentally frustrating just because I just used to doing things a certain way, and I was feeling kind of hampered. So once I... Once I started getting some strength back, starting to get some confidence back, I was, I was ready to go. A Big South title, an FCS playoff bid, 2014 was a season to remember for the Flames. And yet all that was accomplished with Rice watching from the sidelines. What was that time like for you having to watch? I'm sure you were happy for the guys, but at the same time, I'm sure it was frustrating as well. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was frustrating not being able to be a part of it on the field, so to speak. but. I mean, I was, I was extremely excited to see those guys be successful. I found my role, I found my place, and it made things go a lot smoother for me, even though I wasn't able to be out here. And I got a chance to be kind of a fan last year, so that, and it was pretty cool. So you go through all the rehab, all of that, you're building back towards this season. How much are you just chomping at the bit to get back out on the field? Are you just going crazy leading up to this season through all the spring and fall and summer workouts and all? How just amped up were you to finally get back out here? I mean, just, I couldn't wait to play a real game. I was, I'm getting so sick of all the practice and all the, all the, you know, workouts, all the work that you had to do to get there. I just wanted to go out and hit somebody, get the ball back in my hands again. He would do more than just get on the field in the first game of 2015. Desmond Rice would dominate, rushing for 139 yards and two touchdowns in his return to football. Touchdown! When you scored that first touchdown, did you feel like, I'm back? Yeah, uh, I guess the first couple of drives, you know, I really couldn't get much going on the ground yet. And, you know, I was, I was sitting there thinking like, man, I gotta do something, I gotta, I gotta break something off. Just, just to get, you know, a little confidence going. And then once I broke that run for a score, I was like, all right, there we go. That's what I needed, just to give me a little boost of confidence. And, you know, it's, it's just been, it's been great to get back out here and, you know, do all those things that I was doing back in 2013. Now that you've come out the other side of it, what do you feel like you were able to learn through that trial that you went through? I feel like uh, through this, God taught me that football is not the, the only thing. And maybe sometimes it's, it's easy to think that football is the most important thing in my life. But without football, who, who would Des Rice be? And that's kind of what God was teaching me. You know, I can do other things. I can, I can have other roles in life besides being just a football player. So that's what I feel, you know, how my faith got strengthened throughout this ordeal. So how does this story end? What's the storybook ending that you want to write the rest of the season? I think that, you know, the perfect ending to this storybook would be this team going to the national championship and winning it all. I think that we have all the right pieces in place and, you know, I feel like I can help add to that and, you know, that would definitely be the storybook ending for me.